I just like imagine like crawling with a little lamp over this. Actually, no, that's not. It feels like we're on a cave in the moon and we're aliens. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be great. My husband and I have five kids and two who are autistic. After a near-death experience of one of our autistic sons, Ezra, we decided to sell our house, quit our jobs, and move full-time in an RV to travel to all the national parks. We post daily of our unique normal, so please consider subscribing. And Mammoth Cave is our 43rd national park. This is our family's adventure exploring the longest cave in the world. After a huge grocery order and filling up our RV with food, we set out early for a two-hour once-in-a-lifetime cave tour. We get to the visitor center with time to explore, and there's a lot to see. Are we gonna see that? On our cave tour? Mammoth Cave is the longest cave known to man in the world with over 400 miles of passages just that we know of and have explored. Remember, if you have an autistic child, you're in good company. Put in the comments if you've been to this cave before, or if you think you'd like to see it. It's a pretty small hole. Maybe he doesn't want to, but does he want to go in? You make it, Simon? Hey, Simon, good job. Better go. And the kids wait patiently as they listen to a long lecture about the caves. That makes me second guess what we're getting ourselves into. Astute, perhaps use your hands to support yourself as you crouch to get through the remainder. Uh, it'll come into a, a, a big open hallway appropriately called Great Relief Hall. Uh, we'll go a couple hundred feet. We'll hit bottomless pit. We'll go through an area called Fat Man's Misery. Uh, not place it twisty and turvy. It's what? Yeah, that's as close as the natural entrance. We start walking to the cave entrance and a park ranger stops us. We've already done something wrong without knowing it. So we had a baby carrier that Adam was carrying on his back and he just told us just now, right before we went in the cave, <laughs> um, that we can't take it. And so dad had him ran back to the car to go put that away and to get like another bag because we have to bring diapers and wipes. We've learned our lesson. A bird's nest? Cool. We've learned our lesson to always bring diapers, a couple diapers and wipes and little like water bottles for the babies. You wanted to show me that? Oh, we pointed that. Simon really likes the logo, the National Park Arrowhead logo. He recognizes it and he always points to it whenever he sees it. We don't have to run because we're still waiting for daddy. He's still not here yet. Yeah, we plan on being the last ones on Benson because we're the loudest and we're the slowest. So if you're the loudest and the slowest, you should be the last ones in the cave tour. For sure. Look at this. That made me feel better. Yay. I don't have to do the cave tour by myself. <laughs> I wonder what sort of historical artifacts like Native Americans actually left in the caves. It'll be cool to see. Really? That's cool. Oh, yeah. So up here, it's kind of warm, and then you go down here, and it's cold, because you've got this cold air coming in. And we 
almost lose a sippy cup. We're not even in the cave yet. Put in the comments if you've been to Mammoth Caves before or if you think you'd like to see it. Just like we're on a cave in the moon and there's just all this moon rock and then you just see everything and it's so cool. And we're aliens. <laughs> it's like really cool. I mean, it's still the same as Mammoth Cave is the best cave. Do you still think that Carlsbad is the best? So far. So far. Well, you haven't seen Mammoth Cave to its full potential yet, so give it a chance. You can see her Ezra loves sitting on his sister's lap. If anyone says that autistic kids aren't affectionate, well, they're wrong. Simon usually likes playing with my hair, but he can't reach it. I have it up in a bun covered with hat. He plays with the drawstring on my sweatshirt instead. You can tell Ezra loves being in the cave. I think that he likes that it's dark and it's cool. This is so funny. This is so funny. Yeah, this is a pretty big, spacious cave, huh? We learn a little of the history of the caves and how they were mined and even lived in. I didn't expect to see houses in a cave. Behind the giant's coffin. And going down. Like imagine like crawling with a little lamp over this. Actually, no, that's not why not? It sounds fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be great. I was about to be excited and then they closed it. That's awesome. Simon's 
put up his head and look for a few seconds and he wasn't that impressed, so we put it back down. We walk and walk and walk some more. And before we know it, we've made a complete circle. And we're heading out. Areas around us have had some. Mama has the camera now and not Simon. Simon's not okay with it. And this proves to everyone that he still doesn't say mama to me. He's saying dada, wanting me. Yeah. Well, how many caves have we been in? We've been to Wind Caves, mm -hmm. and then oh, Carlsbad. And the Lehman Cave. That Lehman Cave. Lehman Cave. Yeah, that's right. So this is our fourth cave. Grand Canyon. Yes, Grand Canyon is not a cave, but yes, we have been to Grand Canyon. What do you think of the cave tour? It was tiring. Yeah, it was over two miles. Was it cool though? Yeah. And I need to go to the bathroom right now. Okay, good time to go to the bathroom when we're done. Mommy made us a yummy lunch. Check out this video to see what Ezra throws off of Niagara Falls. And this is our National Parks playlist.